Is Bali open for tourism? What is the current situation like in Bali? Are there airlines flying to Bali? Am I allowed to visit Bali? What is the B211B visa? What do I need to prepare if I need to visit Bali? Quarantine information. When will Bali reopen for tourists? Is it safe to travel to Bali? What are the things that are open right now in Bali? Let's get into it. What is the current situation like in Bali? As of the 6th of July 2021, the official tally has reported a total of 51,899 confirmed cases in Bali, where the population is more than 4.2 million. With 47,760 cases of recovery, Bali's recovery rate is at 92%. There is still a travel restriction in place for Indonesia where passengers are not allowed to transit or enter the country, with a few exceptions. Bali relies heavily on tourism and had welcomed 6.3 million foreign visitors in the year 2019. The pandemic has naturally impacted the local economy. Are there airlines flying to Bali? There are no direct flight to Bali. All foreign visitors must go through Jakarta International Airport Sokarno Hatta. There are several domestic flight schedules operated by a few local airlines. The country's national carrier, Garuda Indonesia, is among the airline resuming domestic operations. It has also implemented social distancing procedures in the cabin, including blocking out the middle seats. Am I allowed to visit Bali? Yes. If you are a resident of Indonesia, Bali is currently open only to domestic travelers. International tourists remain banned from visiting Bali in line with the policy of the government of Indonesia, although some will be allowed into Bali as part of trial runs leading up to Bali's eventual reopening. More on this below. As it stands, those allowed entry into Bali are the following. Nationals of Indonesia. Passengers with a temporary stay permit or permanent stay permit. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers with a temporary residence visa. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers with a diplomatic or service visa. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers with a diplomatic or service stay permit. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers with an e-visit visa with a visa number ending with LN. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers with an APEC business travel card. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. Passengers traveling under the travel corridor arrangement. They must not have been in India in the past 14 days. The vice governor of Bali in a conference feed also added that entries are allowed for patients in need of emergency help, passengers attending to urgent matters like death or illness in the immediate family, and repatriated migrant workers and overseas Indonesian students. What is the B211B visa? International travelers wishing to visit Bali may be able to do so by applying for the single entry visitor visa B211B. As per the Indonesian Embassy website, the B211B visa allows any foreign nationals to gain entry into the country in some industrial or business-related capacity, so it's not a tourist visa. The B211B visa is valid for six months and can be extended up to four times, with each extension valid for 30 days. Please note that one of the requirements of obtaining this visa is a presence of a company willing to sponsor said foreign national. However, visa agents in Bali can arrange for this requirement to be fulfilled. While it's by no means ideal, the B211B visa is currently the only possible way of gaining entry into Indonesia and spend an extended amount of time in Bali. What do I need to prepare if I need to visit Bali? Starting from 30 June, domestic travelers planning on visiting Bali must comply with the following rules. Travelers planning on flying to Bali must first acquire a negative PCR-based swab test issued within two days prior to departure. 
Travelers planning on entering Bali by land and sea must first acquire a negative rapid antigen test taken within two days prior to departure. The test result must contain a working QR code to ensure its validity and authenticity. Geno's test results will not be accepted for entry. All travelers must fill out the electronic health alert card, EHAC, available here. Additionally, from the 6th of June, foreign nationals looking to enter Indonesia will have to be fully vaccinated in addition to testing negative for COVID-19. Foreign national already within Indonesia are subject to domestic travel rules applying to Indonesian nationals, which means receiving at least one shot and a negative PCR test result before they are allowed to travel. Quarantine information. As of new regulation from 6 July 2021, travelers are required to undergo a mandatory eight days quarantine, before only five days quarantine required, at designated facilities conducted by the Indonesian government at their own expense, regardless of vaccination status. The quarantine must be undergone at the entry point. Two PCR tests will be administered during this period before release from quarantine. Those two tests will be administered on the first day and on the seventh day after arrival. If you are tested positive, you will be referred to designated Indonesian hospital or health facility conducted by the Indonesian government at your own expense. Head of foreign missions and their families who are assigned in Indonesia are able to undertake the eight-day quarantine at their residence in Indonesia. They are still required to take two PCR tests on the first and seventh day after their arrival in Indonesia at their residence and on their own arrangement. Please be advised to consult with your embassy or consulate in Indonesia concerning the PCR test arrangement and the healthcare provider. The PCR test results shall be sent to Directorate of Consular Affairs of Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia via email to consular at kemlu.go.id. Other foreign diplomats shall undertake the quarantine at designated facilities by the Indonesian government at their own expense. When will Bali reopen for tourists? Due to the recent surge of coronavirus infection across Indonesia, the planned July-August reopening of the island has once again been postponed. Indonesia's Minister for Tourism and the Cultural Economy has announced that the government will wait until the situation has become more conducive. The minister continued to state that Bali's daily coronavirus infections would first need to fall to 30 or 40 per day before reopening could even be considered. The minister also stated that Bali is hoping to attract digital nomads who will be given a five-year visa should the proposed scheme is approved. Is it safe to travel to Bali? The Indonesian government has prioritized Bali for vaccinations and has so far partially vaccinated some 71% of Bali's inhabitants. The government's objective of fully vaccinating 70% of the island's population may be achieved by the end of July. The recent surge of coronavirus cases in Indonesia has rendered the hospital occupancy rates in the neighboring island of Java close to 100%. In contrast, Bali's hospital occupancy rate is currently stable at 50%. To add another layer of security, the Balinese provincial government has mandated that all travelers to Bali must have a negative PCR test before entering, a measure to insulate the island from the pandemic. What are the things that are open right now in Bali? Tourist attractions and popular beaches are open for the most part, although the provincial government has indeed cancelled a number of events involving mass attendance. Operational hours of malls, department stores and restaurants continue to be limited. All establishments must close at 10 p.m. sharp every day. All citizens and visitors are asked to follow the guidelines of social distancing and have to wear masks. Stringent health and safety protocols will continue to be strictly observed. Thank you for watching, see you on the next video and stay safe and stay health.